these are the words of Simon, the things which he spake to his sons before he died. In the hundred and twentieth year of his life, at which time Joseph, his brother, died. For when Simon was sick, his sons came to visit him, and he strengthened himself and sat up and kissed them, and said, Hear, my children, to Simon your father, and I will declare to you what things I have in my heart. I was born of Jacob as my father's second son, and my mother Leah called me Simon because the Lord had heard her prayer. Moreover, I became strong exceedingly. I shrank from no achievement nor was I afraid of anything, for my heart was hard, and my liver was immovable, and my bowels without compassion, because valor also has been given from the Most High to man in soul and body. For in the time of my youth, I was jealous in many things of Joseph, because my father loved him beyond all. And I set my mind against him to destroy him, because the prince of deceit sent forth the spirit of jealousy and blinded my mind so that I regarded him not as my brother nor did I spare even Jacob my father but his God and the God of his fathers sent forth his angel and delivered him out of my hands. For when I went to Shechem to bring ointment for the flocks, and Reuben to Dothan, where, where are necessaries and all our stores, Judah, my brother, sold him to the Ishmaelites. And when Reuben heard these things, he was grieved, for he wished to restore him to his father. But on hearing this, I was exceedingly wroth against Judah, in that he let him go away alive. And for five months I continued wrathful against him. But the Lord restrained me and withheld from me the power of my hands, for my right hand was half withered for seven days. And I knew, my children, that because of Joseph this had befallen me, and I repented and wept. And I besought the Lord God that my hand might be restored and that I might hold aloft from all pollution and envy and from all folly. For I knew that I had devised an evil thing before the Lord and Jacob my father on account of Joseph my brother, in that I envied him. And now, my children, hear me 
and beware of the spirit of deceit and envy. For envy rules over the whole mind and suffers neither to eat nor to drink nor to do any good thing, but it ever suggests to destroy him that he envies. And so long as he that is envied flourishes, he that envies fades away. Two years, therefore, I afflicted my soul with fasting in the fear of the Lord. And I learned that deliverance from envy comes by the fear of God. For if a man flee to the Lord, the evil spirit runs away from him and his mind is lightened. And henceforward he sympathizes with him whom he envied and forgives those who are hostile to him and so ceases from his envy. And my father asked concerning me because he saw that I was sad and I told him that I have pain in my liver. For I mourned more than they all did because I was guilty of the selling of Joseph. And when we went down into Egypt and he bound me as a spy, I knew that I was suffering just and I grieved not. Joseph was a good man and had a spirit of God within him, being compassionate and pitiful. He bore no malice against me, but loved me even as the rest of his brethren. Beware, therefore, my children, of all jealousy and envy, and walk in singleness of heart, that God may give you also grace and glory and blessing upon your heads, even as you saw in Joseph's case. All his days he reproached us not concerning this thing, but loved us as his own soul, and beyond his own sons glorified us, and gave us riches, and cattle, and fruits. Do you also, my children, love each one, his brother, with a good heart, and the spirit of envy will withdraw from you? For this makes savage the soul and destroys the body. It causes anger and war in the mind and stirs up to deeds of blood and leads the mind into frenzy and causes tumult to the soul and trembling to the body. For even in sleep, malicious jealousy gnaws, and with wicked spirits disturbs the soul, and causes the body to be troubled, and wakes the mind from sleep in confusion, and as a wicked and poisonous spirit so appears it to man. Therefore was Joseph comely in appearance and good to look upon, because no wickedness 
dwelt in him. For some of the trouble of the spirit, the face manifests. And now, my children, make your hearts good before the Lord, and your ways straight before men, and you will find grace before the Lord and men. Beware, therefore, of lust, for lust is mother of all evils, separating from God and bringing near to devil. For I have seen it inscribed in the writing of Enoch, that your sons shall be corrupted in lust and shall do harm to the sons of Levi with the sword. But they shall not be able to withstand Levi, for he shall wage the war of the Lord and shall conquer all the hosts. And they shall be few in number, divided in Levi and Judah, and there shall be none of you for sovereignty even as also our Father prophesied in his blessings. Behold, I have told you all things, that I may be acquitted of your sin. Now, if you remove from you your envy and all stiff nakedness, as a rose shall my bones flourish in Israel, and as a lily my flesh in Jacob, and my odor shall be as the odor of Lebanus, and as cedars shall holy ones be multiplied from me forever, and their branches shall stretch afar off. Then shall perish the seed of Canaan, and a remnant shall not be unto Amalek, and all the Cappadocians shall perish, and all Hittites shall be utterly destroyed. Then shall fail the land of Ham, and all the people shall perish. Then shall all the earth rest from trouble, and all the world under heaven from war. Then the Mighty One of Israel shall glorify Shem, for the Lord God shall appear and save the man. Then shall all the spirits of deceit be given to be trodden underfoot, and man shall rule over wicked spirits. Then shall I arise in joy, and will bless the Most High, because of his marvelous works, because God has saved the man. And now, my children, and Judah, and obey Levi and Judah, and be not lifted up against these two tribes, for from them shall arise to you the salvation of God. For the Lord shall rise up from Levi as it were a high priest, and from Judah as it were a king, God and man, he shall save all the Gentiles and the race of Israel. Therefore I give you these commands, that you also may command your children, that they may observe them throughout their generations. And when Simon had made an end of commanding his sons, he slept with fathers. 
120 years old. And they laid him in a wooden coffin to take up his bones to Hebron. And they took them up secretly during a war of the Egyptians. For the bones of Joseph, the Egyptians guarded in the tombs of the kings. Because the sorcerers told them that on the departure of the bones of Joseph there should be throughout all the land darkness and gloom, and an exceeding great plague to the Egyptians, so that even with a lamp a man should not recognize his brother. And the sons of Simon bewailed their father. And they were in Egypt until the day of their departure by the hand of Moses.